We're discovering a new species of dinosaur once a week on average, somewhere around the world. I'm Steve Broussardi, I'm a paleontologist and a professor at the University of Edinburgh, and I'm one of the consultants on the new Walking with Dinosaurs, so I'm one of the scientists working behind the scenes to make sure that the series is factual. And this is really special for me because I remember very well, 25 years ago, I was growing up in America, I was in high school, I was 16 years old, and I watched Walking with Dinosaurs on American TV, and it blew my mind. There have been thousands of new dinosaurs found in the past 25 years. And even in the case of this series, you're gonna see some dinosaurs that were in the original, but they're gonna look different. The Utah Raptors in the original, these big scaly raptor dinosaurs, now you're gonna see them covered with feathers. We've learned that since the original. Spinosaurus is a dinosaur that a lot of people are buzzing about these days because this is a dinosaur that's been known for well over 100 years, but for a long time there were very few fossils. Now there have been all these new discoveries in Africa of new Spinosaurus fossils over the last decade. And they show this animal with a big sail on its back, a long tail that it probably used for swimming, a long snout like a crocodile. This is a new image of an iconic dinosaur, and this is in line with new scientific discoveries. When people watch the new Walking with Dinosaurs, I hope that many of them will take away what I took away 25 years ago as a high school kid, wonder, awe, and curiosity. And it inspired me to learn more, to read more. I got every book on dinosaurs I could find from the library and begged my parents to take me to museums to see dinosaur fossils. And I started to communicate with scientists online. And that got me experience visiting labs like this one. I have students come here in Edinburgh to our lab to visit just to get a feel for what it's like to do science. So if you watch this new Walking with Dinosaurs and you're inspired, reach out to people, get involved. There's lots of opportunities to learn about fossils. And more than anything, you can go out and find your own fossils. That's the beauty of paleontology. It's a very populist science. You don't need to be a professor like me to find a fossil. Anybody can do it. These were the animals that lived on our Earth, but millions of years ago in a very different time. There's a lot we can learn from them. And shows like this, shows that are beautiful, but also scientifically accurate, this is the gateway for so many people to ask those questions to learn more about nature and appreciate our world and the history of our world and the fragility of our world and the beauty of our world all the much better.